Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. In this episode, we will be talking about Zapru Online features, a new mini ITX IO board, new beta arcade cores, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, accessories, IO boards, and more. Now let's get to the news. Wizzle has announced that the Zapperoo project will have the ability to access an external URL in order to perform some custom functions. With this feature, you will be able to encode some new type of NFC cards. One type is called a Zaplink card, which contains a special URL. On every scan, Zapperoo hits this URL and requests what Zap script should run, like exiting to the main menu, but it can be customized to do so much more. Another type of NFC card is called a Zapperoo media card. When you scan one of these cards, if the ROM for the game that is encoded to it is not stored on the local Mr. FPGA, it can download the game for you, saving you the trouble of downloading it yourself and copying it to your Mr. FPGA. Wizzle is hoping to get some free to distribute games working when this feature launches. Tim Wilsey also gives some other examples. Here's what he says. Weeks of heads down work. It's early days yet, but this is Zapparoo taken to a whole new level. You want social sharing? You want to create living collections you can publish for others? Game makers, you want downloads on scans? It's amazing the features that the Zapparoo project keeps on bringing. It's no longer something that you just tap an NFC card to launch games. It now supports barcodes, launching games via CD-ROM discs, and there's so many other features. Check out the official Zapparoo website to see all that it can do. There is some bad news regarding the MT32 Pi project. There will be no further development of the project because of the developer being harassed. It's sad to see such a great project like this being killed due to some users who feel entitled that they can get what they want from a free project. If you don't know what the MT32 Pi project is, it is a synthesizer for Raspberry Pi devices that can emulate classic synthesizers like the Roland MT32, Sound Canvas, and more. It gives you the ability to attach a Raspberry Pi to a retro computer and even the Mr. FPGA so you can experience classic computer games that took advantage of these sound modules. I understand the developer's reason for ending development. If it is no longer fun for them, then they should concentrate on other things that will bring them joy. Fortunately, the project is open source, so there is the possibility of someone else continuing development. So what does this mean for Mr. FPGA users? Well, the good news is that as long as compatible Raspberry Pis are being manufactured and sold, you can continue using the project just as you always did. Raspberry Pi 3 and 02W devices are still being sold and very easy to find, so you won't have any problems building an MT32 Pi for your Mr. FPGA. If you enjoy this project as much as I do, I hope you consider donating to the developer's Kofi page. It seems he's raising money for some medical expenses, and I would like to see him reach his goal. I'll provide a link in the description. Pixel Memories is releasing some new NFC sprite figurines that you can use on Zapparoo enabled Mr. FPGA setups. These new sprites can be added to many of the existing sprites that are available on Pixel Memories Kofi page. You can even pair them with sprite themed NFC readers that Pixel Memories offers. Otego has released two new arcade games to the core that runs games based on the Fairyland Story hardware. One of the games is Typhoon Gal, which is a beat-em-up arcade game. The other game is Rumba Lumber, a top-down maze game that mixes puzzle and action elements. These games are in beta, so you will have to be a Patreon subscriber to play them on the Mr. FPGA. There is a new version of the Mini ITX Ironclad Plus I.O. board. Now called the Ironclad DX, it is now compatible with the DE10 Nano and all of its clones. Like the Ironclad Plus, the DX version also lets you take a Mini ITX, Micro ATX, or ATX computer case and turn it into your definitive retro gaming machine powered by a Mr. FPGA. So if you want, you can go all out and hook up your Mr. FPGA with RGB lighting, transparent panels, or anything that's possible on a computer case. Here are some notable updates to the DX version compared to the older Ironclad Plus. You now do not need to buy a power supply. The power adapter that came with your DE10 Nano will work fine with a basic setup. But if you still want to use an ATX power supply, that is also supported. 
This version also supports 24-bit color analog video output. It also provides all the functionality of the official I.O. board version 9.2 like the AV board, USB hub with 7 ports, real-time clock, and snack. This also means that it now supports dual SD RAM mode. Those are just some of the notable updates of the Ironclad DX board. To see the full list of changes, check out DefMod's website. Mr. Organize is a project that will help you keep your games organized for browsing games on your Mr. It contains custom DAT files that instruct it on how to organize games. Here's what DAT files do. They contain a catalog of attributes for each of its titles, including file names, hashes, and sizes. This information can then be used to audit files on your hard drive to ensure that they are named correctly and that they match the recorded attributes in the file. Mr. Organize can then rearrange the way your games are displayed according to the information on the DAT file. The DAT that Mr. Organize provides is telling the files where they need to go. For example, Shinobi for the Neo Geo was added just this month. When you click sort, Shinobi Neo Geo will go into the Neo Geo Core folder and then into the Unlicensed Games folder. This should make it easier to browse games, especially when you have a large library. The project has been recently updated to support a lot more games. Here are some notable updates. No Intro Games is updated to Current. No Intro Private Aftermarket Games is also updated to Current. Super NES MSU1 upgrades by Rumblemins and Infidelity have been added. Tomb Raider ports for the 32X and Game Boy Advance are also added. Mortal Kombat Arcade Edition for the 32X and Genesis are also available. And there are much more updates. You can check out the public Patreon post for the full list. The PCXT Core has a new feature. You can now fine tune CRT synchronization in the on screen display. This will let you configure horizontal and vertical offsets, allowing you to adjust CRTs for perfect screen alignment. There is a new update to the Tecmo Arcade Core with the following AD PCM sounding scratchy was fixed thanks to G Childs, an Argus no Senshi MRA was added. Thanks to Makigumo, this is a Japanese version of Rygar. And 1 and 2 player start were mapped to a single controller to match upright cabinet behavior of Rygar. The Coco 2 core has been updated with the following. Cassette save was added. The operating system Nitro OS 9 is working in Coco and Dragon 64. And there were tons of other fixes and updates. The TRS-80 core was also updated. Here are the changes. RS-232 support was added. There is now MIDI support for MIDI 80 and MT32 Pi. Save states have been implemented. Four diskettes can now be inserted and more. The next game challenge on the Mr. FPGA Discord is Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja. It is a single credit score challenge that goes until February 23rd. Taki Udon showed off the latest version of the Super Dock for the Superstation 1. On the post, you can see how it looks on top of a Superstation 1. And you also get a look at the front showing the ports and the optical disk drive. The ports in the front of the dock are USB ports, and there are four of them. This dock is what will allow Superstation 1 owners to launch PlayStation discs. Taki also says that the dock still needs two more revisions. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provide a link to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.